Welcome to this week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment. Locate. Learn. Set up. Hunt. Brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Probably the most asked question that we get almost every day is does an Ozonix really work? And I'm surprised that that's still a question out there after seeing, you know, just our content alone showing deer that have crossed downwind or came in downwind, let alone, you know, the, the slew of evidence that's out there. But I understand the skepticism and you're not going to find many hunters that are as skeptical as the crew and myself. So we use Ozonix, we use Ozonix every time we sit. And even then, we've always said that little mistakes means not killing big bucks. We wait until everything's perfect. So we never hunt a stand on the wrong wind. We make sure the wind is right, the conditions are right, then we go in and we use our Ozonix, and our Ozonix is there as a safeguard. I know if a deer crosses downwind, there's very little chance that we're gonna get busted. I know that if the wind changes, that we've got some protection there. And I know it's gonna change our hunt. It's gonna greatly increase how many times in a row we can sit that stand. Our biggest problem trying to line up on any target buck is burning that stand out, hunting that stand too much over a given period of time. And that comes from your continued scent stream there. So anytime a deer goes in behind you, anytime a deer catches your wind, they bust, they go away. Every time that happens, it has an impact on that spot. So if I can reduce that, which it'll honest greatly reduces, that's gonna increase our chance at lining up on that target buck. And another question that people ask is the expense. And the expense is not really an expense. I see guys every day spend more money than an Ozonix is worth on a, on a scent control jacket that absolutely doesn't work. I mean, the second you take it out of the bag and put it on, you've already contaminated that jacket. It can't contain the scent that's coming out of your collar, out of your cuffs, off your hair. It's just not an effective garment. It's not an effective solution. Using an Ozonix can actually save you money because I don't spend money on that scent control clothing. I don't worry about putting my clothing in rubber buckets and trying to keep it scent free because I know that when I'm on stand, that Ozonix unit is going to keep my scent dealt with. And if I want to clean my clothes, I can throw it in a dry wash bag, run it through, I know I'm clean, and know that I'm back to square one. The question of does an Ozonix really work? Absolutely it does, and that's coming from some of the most skeptical hunters around. To the second question of do you need an Ozonix to kill a big buck? Again, my answer is absolutely not but it'll greatly increase your chances at an encounter with that target buck. And when it comes to hunting giant Canadian whitetails, I'll take every advantage I can get. And that's your Canadian whitetail scouting segment for the week. This week's Canadian whitetail scouting segment has been brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Share your own muddy moment.